So let's check out Haunted March. Although this one's kind of dark sounding, so I don't know if I should be so happy about it. But let's go ahead and sight read it. It's got a lot of low notes in it. It's got some sharps. It's got some natural signs. So let's just see how well you sight read this. I'm going to go ahead and count this in with the backing track. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's go ahead and, and break this one down a little bit. I, I like it. I think it's cool. Now, it only works on the sixth and the fifth string, so only those notes, which unfortunately for our music reading happen to be pretty low on the staff, so we got to get used to those notes. So let's check out the first measure. We got low E, quarter note, and then it goes up to the G. Now, the next note is F sharp. And so remember what a sharp sign does is it raises a note a half a step higher. So if F is here on the first fret, F sharp would be right here on the second fret. And then beat four is just a B. Okay, and a B is right here on the fifth string, second fret. So let me play just the first measure. It's all quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One more time, three, four. All right, now the second measure is also chord notes. It's gonna go back to low E, G, F sharp, we've seen that, but now check out the next note, F natural, which is just regular F. And remember the natural sign cancels out the F, sharp, so if it's F sharp, and then you see the natural sign, it cancels it out and moves it to F. So let's try and measure two now. One, two, three, four, and. Okay, that one happens to be all on the sixth string. So now here we go, first two measures. One, two, three, four, it's one. So, pretty cool sounding. Measure three is just like measure one, so it's just the same thing. Three, four. Now check out the last measure here. Let's play it. We go from quarter notes to eighth notes. So if we're looking at just measure four, okay, it's going to go from C, B, and then here's a little eighth note run. Again, measure four, three, and one, two, three, and four, and. All right, so let's try those first four measures. One, two, ready, and it's. Here we go. Eighth notes. Next line. Starts off the same as the beginning. Now check this out. All right, so I said only the first four bars. I went on because measure five, six, and seven are the same as bars one, two, and three, so it's just a repeat. And then it has just a little tag at the end. Okay, so it's, let's look at those last five bars give you a little bit better chance here. So last five bars, two, three, four, it's. Now here's the last measure. There's a couple of things happening there. First you have eighth notes, starts on the C note, one and two and three and four. Notice what happened on beat four. It's all eighth notes up to beat four, and then beat four is short. 
And the reason why we know that is because there's a dot underneath that, and that means staccato or short. So instead of playing the note long, like this, three, four, we're going to play short, like one, two, three, four, long, two, three, now staccato, and one, two, three, four. Now to play the note staccato, I got to stop the sound somehow. So usually I can use my left or my right hand just to kind of tap the string to stop the sound. Or I can use my right hand and just have the pick or my finger just slightly touch the string. Or I can do both. Okay. So that last measure, let's just do the last measure starting on C. Three and four and short. Staccato, right? One more time. Just measure eight, last measure. Three and four and. All right, so let's put together the last five or four measures starting on measure five. Here we go. Two and three and four and one and two. Here we go. All right, so there's Haunted March. Walked you through it. Let's go ahead now and see you play it with me with the backing track. Two, ready, and. Yeah. 